Hello world, welcome back to Some Kind of Gaming. Today we're coming at you with another unboxing and hardware review. This one's just a little bit special. It's just got a little cherry on top, you know? We've been lucky enough to have been sent a controller to review for you guys, so thank you so much to the Low Grade Gamer for sending this to us. Follow the link in our description below for a huge variety of gaming merch, accessories and video games. Christmas is coming up after all. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button down there. And while you're down there, maybe give the video a like as well. But without further ado, let's open up the world's tiniest Switch controller. We think. Smallest one we've seen anyway. Don't quote us. Voila! Would you like to do the honors? Okay. Go on. Go on. Open her up. <laughs> nice. All right, what it's a nice we box. It is a nice box. When I took this out of the box that was sent in in the mail, I was pretty surprised with exactly how small it was. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, oh, she's pretty small. Wow, it's even smaller than I... It's so cute. It's, it's like disgustingly cute, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> is it? Yeah. So we've got... It's an... even smaller than I thought it was going to be. It takes up like half that thing. The box is like twice the size. The box is small, but the controller is even smaller. Oh, oh, here's some things. Oh, we'll get to the things later. Yeah, look at that. I think oh we're going to have to take a lot of B-roll because you guys can see that thing. You need a magnifying glass. <laughs> yeah, it's small. It, that's <laughs> literally the size of your thumb. Yep, it's thumb size, isn't it? Cute. I like it. It's small. Give it a press. <laughs> Is it possible for you? Okay, well, I can see yeah. some uh, issues, I'm not going to lie. But the D-pad feels nice. It actually feels really nice. You've got to hold it with like the tips of your fingers, like huh? That. Yeah, you really do. Actually, that D-pad's really nice. I really like that, man. Here you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. I always love a good D-pad. Don't know if it's responsive, but it feels nice. It's 8-bit do, so usually... That's true. We have reviewed another 8-bit Do controller. Visit either this one or this one. I don't know which corner it's going to appear in yet. <laughs> there will be a link to that video. But 8-bit Do makes some good stuff. So pretty confident in this. Pretty confident it'll work well at least. Yeah. Not this one is the 8-bit Do Zero 2 controller. Mm. Zero because it's so small you can't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with this little woo. What is that? It's a wrist strap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrist strap, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's pretty, pretty nice. Nice and rubbery. It's rubberish. Mm, okay. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. I like that it's rubbery. <laughs> it's way more fun than like a cord one. And look, we've got this tiny little cable for a tiny yeah. little controller. <laughs> oh, this is dis it's disgustingly cute, isn't it? Right. Well, you can't like have a tiny so controller cute. in a normal size port. Yeah, you're right. Okay, it's not USB-C, which I know people like USB-C for compatibility. It's not that. It's just the old Samsung charger. I can't really know what that's called, but, you know. <laughs> Let's put the wrist strap on. Okie dokie. In case it flings out of your oh. hand Wii style. Does it have motion? That is a good question. Again, you'll have to stick around to the end of the video to find out. Find out all the beats. You could just like hang this off your keychain. That is very true. Off your bag or something. Actually, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be awesome. I, I agree. Um, I guess that's uh, it for the unboxing. It's not, it's not a whole lot of stuff in that box. I guess we'll have to go and use this bad boy for the next couple of days at least. But in the magic of video editing, we'll be back to you in about half a second. See you soon. <laughs> and we're back again. So it's been about a week and a half now, and we can honestly say that we're pretty pleasantly surprised with this little controller. We use it far more than we thought we would, not just for review purposes, but because we genuinely enjoyed using it. Yeah, this fun sized little controller looks like a novelty to begin with, but it's actually pretty robust and very well crafted for a bite sized little guy. Now this thing is actually the revision to the world's smallest Switch controller. That original was called the 8-Bit Do Zero, and this is imaginatively titled the 8-Bit Do Zero Two. 
So if you've got a controller sized hole in your keychain, then this thing has you covered. Can you imagine just pulling your set of keys out at a party and being like, ready to game anyone? <laughs> Among this controller's arsenal, you will find select and start buttons, A, B, X, and Y buttons, left and right triggers, and our favorite part, a D-pad, which actually has a very satisfying push. All of these buttons are very solid and responsive without any latency to speak of. The left and right triggers are significantly clickier than the rest of the buttons, requiring a bit more pressure to elicit a response out of, but it's not so much that it would hinder your gameplay. The 8 bit Do Zero 2 is also far comfier than we thought it would be. Now it does take a little bit of getting used to, you have to hold it with the tips of your fingers rather than like grasping it with the palm of your hands. But once you get around that, we could honestly play with this thing for hours on end. Well, 8 hours specifically because that's how long the battery life in this thing is. Because of this little cutie small size, there's understandably not as much space for all of the buttons that a regular controller offers you. You're missing the ZR and ZL buttons, as well as the home and capture buttons in this experience. But for old school retro games or simpler games, this might be all you need. Now, 8 Dude does do a kind of decent job of getting around this. They use button combinations to emulate the ones that just aren't there. For example, down on the D-pad and select gives you the home button, and pressing start and select simultaneously gives you ZL and ZR. This was pretty hard to control in some games though, since you have to do it simultaneously, you can't use the ZL or ZR buttons individually as the controller will just recognize them as select or start. It is almost impossible though, because while I was testing it out playing Breath of the Wilds, I was able to get my bow up once during my test, but it wasn't something that I was able to recreate. I also wasn't able to use the camera at all because there's no joystick on this controller. Now, for old school games like those of the NES and the SNES era, available through the online service on the Switch, this little thing is honestly pretty perfect. But if you're looking to play something a little bit more complicated, like an open world RPG or a 3D platformer, something like Xenoblades or Mario Odyssey, then you're gonna wanna pack something different. As well as a couple of buttons, this little guy's also missing motion and rumble but we get the feeling that this is less of a full package controller with all of the bells and whistles that you would use at home and more of a portable controller that you can easily put in your pocket and take anywhere you want. And it's perfect for that. Now, I don't know if you guys will remember, but a couple of videos ago, we mentioned how the Switch Lite isn't the most perfect thing for tabletop mode. Being a more portable version of the Switch means that it doesn't have the detachable Joy-Cons. So if you wanna play tabletop, you have to cart around another two controllers for you and your buddy to use. This kind of defeats the purpose of the whole thing being more portable. However, the 8 bit Do Zero 2 has you covered. This thing is so small, you can easily slip a couple of these into your pocket or even into the case of the Switch Lite itself. This brings back the viability of playing the Switch Lite in tabletop mode. They aren't actually advertised as such, but these controllers and the Switch Lite are a match made in heaven. They even look the same coming in yellow, coral, and turquoise, and sharing this aesthetically pleasing white button layout. Coincidence? I think not. The Zero Two also comes with this really nice rubber wrist strap, which is super durable and extra grippy, which helps account for the controller's lightness. It also comes packaged with an equally cute and adorable micro USB cable. You see what they did there? Microcontroller. Micro USB cable. <laughs> this cable is only used for charging purposes though, as the controller connects wirelessly via Bluetooth to more devices than just your Switch. This controller also connects to Windows, Mac, and Android, further solidifying its place as the ultimate portable controller. You can even connect it to your phone to play while you're on the bus. Although I can't imagine swapping out my mouse and keyboard for this, but hey, Whatever floats your goats. The 8 bit Do Zero 2 definitely isn't perfect with its lack of features and buttons, but it does get extra points for its surprisingly high build quality and, of course, its portability. This makes it the perfect way to enjoy a couple of levels of Yoshi's Island on the train or a couple of rounds of WarioWare with your mates, wherever your heart desires. And for only $34.95 Australian dollars, meaning it's less dollars wherever you're from, you can't really go wrong. 
If you're keen on trying out one of these puppies for yourself, then feel free to follow the link in our description to pick one up from the low grade gamer. Using our link helps support our channel while also supporting a local business. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of another video. We love and appreciate all of you. Don't forget to hit that teeny tiny subscribe button on your way out. Like the video, share the video, do all those dids and doodads. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.